Hello everyone, it's Ants International, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I go queen hunting. I was getting a couple of requests from you guys in the comment section asking for me to show you guys how I go queen hunting. So right now, there's lots of Campanatus queens flying around. Uh, it's their nuptial flight and there was just a big rainstorm. So I'm just going to be showing you guys maybe the possible locations where you guys can find your queens. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So guys, this was one of the first queens we caught. It was a Campanatus queen and it was fertilized. And it's not that we don't want to go for the ones with wings, it was just that there were so many, we didn't want to take the risk of catching the ones with wings. We wanted to save our test tubes for um, the fertilized ones. And like I said, there were a ton of queens and we had hardly enough test tubes to catch all the queens that were just flying around. And we also decided to do a little experiment now, Campanotus queens are usually single queen colonies, but some colonies of ants are known to be polygynous, which means they have more than one queen in their colony. So what me and my friend did was we caught three Campanotus queens and we put them all in a test tube and we're going to see if they fight or if they're going to actually join forces and this might prove that some Campanotus um, queens and species uh, can grow polygynous colonies. So everyone, this is a Campanatus worker. Now it's quite large, and I do, um, yeah, there's another. They really do look like queens because of their size, but they're not because their thoraxes are quite small, and most of their um, abdomen is um, quite small. So guys, if you didn't get that, I was just talking about um, how Campanatus workers look very similar to queens. And if you guys are a bit unsure about your queens, please um, send me an email. I'll leave my email at the end of this video and in the link in the description um, below. So if you guys are curious to see if the ants you caught were queens, then just send me an email. So let's take a look at the results. So usually in one day, this was kind of a bit absurd because I caught a lot of queens, but I think I caught around up to 10 Campanatus queens. Most of them were infertile in the end because we didn't end up finding that many fertilized queens, so we're going to hope for the best. And if you guys are living in Singapore, I'm happy to announce that I will be selling these queens once they have their first workers. Now the specific name for this species is Campanotus alborus. I can't really pronounce the last part, but you can tell this by the two little circles at the top of the worker worker's abdomen or gaster. It's quite hard to see since this was um, this colony's first mythic. So guys, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, the support that you guys have given me is insane. I'm getting lots of great questions, which I'm so happy to answer. And it's so nice to see that all you guys care about ant keeping. I'm trying my best right now to help you guys catch your queens. And I really hope that you do. And if you guys want to send me an email, send me an email at bigheadedant um, at gmail.com. And I'll try to see if the ants that you call are really queens. Thank you so much, guys. And we are about to hit 50 subs, which is crazy. So thank you so much for that, guys. And please subscribe. Thank you.